This is an arrest of the man acting as the mayor of the town of Milton in defense of the children. In three, two, one, go. We are arresting Gordon Grant, the man acting as the mayor of the town of Milton, as for section 4942 of the criminal code. This is a video posted by Save for Thee, an activist group that attempted to make a citizen's arrest of Milton Mayor Gord Krantz here at Town Hall on January 5th. These anti-masking protesters are speaking out against current bylaws in place requiring residents to wear masks indoors, saying the mayor is, according to them, unlawfully infringing on their rights and freedoms and that restrictions are putting their children at risk. The group eventually called 911. A Halton police officer arrived on scene to speak with the group, saying that there were no grounds to arrest the mayor. We are arresting, and uh, I have looked at some of your material um, like on your website, and as I've mentioned to you before, the, your interpretation is incorrect on that section of criminal code that you talked about a citizen's arrest. So you also are holding the charter. The charter also has a section in it that claims that you can go through the court if you think that your rights have been uh, breached. So there is, there is a measure to address it. We did reach out to Mayor Gord Krantz, who was unavailable for an interview, but he did send Halton News this statement. On Tuesday, the democratic right was exercised by citizens who demonstrated their views in a peaceful manner. I support a citizen's right to do so as long as it is done in a safe manner and does not incite messages of hate or violence. In my role as mayor, I am responsible in implementing and following public policies and keeping our community safe through those policies. Throughout this pandemic, our public health experts have mandated guidelines to keep our community safe and reduce the spread of COVID-19. As Milton's mayor, I will continue to support our public health experts. I would like to thank Halton Regional Police Service for their continued service to Milton and Greater Halton Region. Meanwhile, Milton MP Adam Vancouverden was working in his office across the street and says he was appalled by the protest. There are people out there that are making this like a bizarre conspiracy issue. Um, I obviously do not support that. I do not support these protests. You're putting people and each other in harm's way and you're, you're you, you know, not listening to scientists, experts, and health officials. Uh, it made me so angry to sit there in my office and watch these people flagrantly disregarding the rules that are designed to keep them, their families, and our community safe during these really difficult times. The Halton police officer on scene did say to the group they're welcome to continue their peaceful demonstration, but asked them not to call 911 in future for this purpose, as the phone line is meant for emergency assistance only. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria. We'll stop the live stream for now.